first. Um, hi, I'm Dina, and I was the production manager of this. And I'm um, Casper, I um, was the overall series producer of Gangs and Rose Pork. Okay, my name's Rachel, and I'm DOP for episode two. I'm Lewis, and I'm the lighting technician. <laughs> 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 Reggie! Right, so anyway, I'm Lewis. Okay. <laughs> oh, come on, Lewis. Right, okay, 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 okay. I'm Lewis, and I'm the lighting technician for episode two. I'm Ike, and I've done camera on episode one. Producer of episode four. Uh, I'm Slade. I've uh, directed episode four. Okay, um, I'm Abby, <laughs> and I was on episode three, and I was script supervisor, vlogger, and assistant producer. That's nothing. Oh, I'm Ben. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ben Norton, and uh, uh, I was part of episode one, and uh, I was the producer slash assistant director slash DOP. Slash post production manager. Yeah, pretty much all the job titles I've got. <laughs> slash the female boss. What? <laughs> um, well, my job was um, overall production manager, so I basically had to make sure um, everything involved in production was organised, so like organised meetings alongside with Casper, obviously, um, with the head of departments, make sure they knew what they were doing, making sure everything was going to plan. I think the biggest part of my job was putting together the board, which took up a lot of hours, but I think once it was up there, it gave us a really good, strong structure for our filming and for our production, which I know helped a lot with what we did, so yeah. Yeah, I was not doing anything really. I was just in front of the Mac, pretending I'm working and eating all the time. <laughs> no, really. Um, as a producer, I was really just taking care that everything goes after plan and organizing everything and putting a structure onto everything. So I was literally just writing a lot of emails and shit like that. So uh, that's why I didn't get to be on set a lot, which is a little bit disappointing, you know, even Dina, she yeah. didn't get, we didn't get to be on no. set a lot, so, like, oh, then, then you get to watch all the stuff online, you're like, oh, damn, I missed this, but, yeah. well, yeah, no, as Dina said, like, creating production schedules and just making sure um, everything started out and making sure that the producers actually do their job, so, the producers got a lot of, like, you know, pressure from Dina and I because we were like, kind of like, you gotta do this and you gotta do that. So yeah, so that was literally my main job, making sure everything runs smoothly and everything is organized. And without Dina, I couldn't have done it. You couldn't have done it. I think we would have all just come Exactly. Yeah. I had a couple of nervous breakdowns and I had to call in Dina one time and I was yelling at Ben and I was really just like stressed out. And Dina came, I was like, ah, oh, she can't handle it. She's like, gonna be fine. <laughs> I told the actors what I wanted from them in how they portrayed their characters and how I felt, felt like it fitted into the story. But um, I didn't have to do that as much as I thought because the actors already had a good understanding and they knew what was... So you're basically saying you had no job? No, no, no. And like all the shots, like all the shots, everyone would say, Lee, is this shot good? And I would overlook most of the shots, even though that's not really what directors would do. That's what I did anyway. I decided this shot, well actually yeah, I decided what shots and then, yeah, here's what the director's done, I just said it wrong. But yeah, I decided, <laughs> I decided shots and made sure everyone like, looked, like, looked over them all, decided if, like, if you need more headroom, less headroom, etc. And stuff like that. But I did that more than I would direct the actors. I, I did a hell of a lot of paperwork pre-production. Um, I had to make sure that all our production files had the, all the right documents in it. We didn't even use some of them, which is kind of depressing. But we got all our call sheets done, we got um, like our mini production board done, um, and we helped to make this thing, basically. Um, Casper and Dini put it all together, but we had to make sure that we had like all the times and scenes and stuff given to them uh, at the right time. Um, also, like during the shoot, um, I was helping Josh out, like assistant director, so we just like, he looked at me for like confirmation whether he like thought the shot was good or whether the lighting was okay and stuff. And, um, and now post-production, I get to manage all the, all the editors and stuff and get everything together. So that's gonna be fun. And that's still mid-May. Yay. <laughs>
Um, my job, okay, so um, on set, I was a script supervisor and logo, and that was really easy, and that was just like making sure that actors did their lines right and making sure that all the time codes were wrote down and things like that. And then, as an assistant producer, um, I had to do like a lot of the paperwork and stuff because um, our producer couldn't do some because he had things going on and stuff. So um, I had to do a lot of that, and that was quite stressful. And I kind of took on the role of producer for a short period of time whilst he was doing things, but it was all right. And, um, she had a hell of a lot of work to do with the catering. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, I did that. Uh, <laughs> so much shopping. <laughs> yeah, we did a lot of shopping. Oh my god. And um, yeah, that was long. Boy, we we stayed up to like twelve making sandwiches, didn't we? Uh, it was a good time. It was fun though. <laughs> fun sandwich making time. It was all right. So yeah. My job was really stressful. I had all the paperwork to do, made sure everyone's doing their job, uh, getting him to be not stressed, which made me stressed. You don't know what? Maybe Lee, check the time. Two minutes later, Lee, check the time. Cover me. I know the time. I know we have five minutes to do this, 500 things. Lee, check the time. Well, you didn't Catch check the time, so. So, um, during yesterday's shoot, I had a bit of an ordeal for. Um, Crew 3 is actually still living with me right now. I just I feel scarred for life. I was um, just putting some gaffer tape on the lighting cables, trying to make it safe, like Clive taught me. And um, there was smoke coming out of one of the fuses. And as I looked, the light started to spark out of the fuse. I was like, oh my god, oh my god, there's a fire. I just didn't know what to do, so I ran away and I burst into the production office. And as I did, there was a loud bang, and I looked, and the fuse had set on fire. So, not knowing what to do, I just grabbed the fire extinguisher like an idiot. And then Nathan kindly warned me that I can't put it out because it's an electrical fire. So, um, Jake just very simply turned off the switch. And that solved the situation. So the moral of the story is, when you're over in a crisis, just don't call me for help because I'm useless. And listen to Clive. Now I'm on door and I'm starting to find myself. Check it. I think it went very well, didn't it, overall? Yeah, I'm like really proud of like how people pulled together and got it done and yeah, it was really well. It went yeah, really well. Definitely. Everybody worked really hard and everybody put their way and I think the lecturers even were surprised about that. Yeah. <laughs> and um, everybody put so much effort into it and it was really good to see that we kinda strive to like create a quality program. So I'm sure the outcome is gonna be off the chain. I thought, I thought it was well there. Yeah. It went well. It was stressful. I think everybody knows that I find it a lot stressful. Everyone calls me stress guy, whatever, yeah. whatever you want to call stress it. Stress head. Yeah. Um, but I enjoyed it. Um, generally, it was really good. Like, we all got on well as a team. There were a few issues between certain members of the group. Um, those who shall not be named. But we actually got on really well and we all pulled together and we're quite good at setting up and stuff. So. We're like quite technical people, so like we've all got our straps and stuff, so yeah, it was pretty good. It was, it was interesting. Yeah, it was sort of the first week, yeah, the first week it was quite, you know, because we had essays to do while we were filming, so we were way more on point, and this guy just don't fuck up. Sorry, <laughs> game ready. First week it was interesting, you know, because we were more on point in the first week, didn't it? Cause it, was, it was fresh, it was, it was something like, new, exactly. And then come the second week, you know, Casper said we all started slacking a bit. We didn't, I didn't, so I don't want to talk about it. Because you weren't around, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <whoa. laughs> we're going to continue with the interview. <laughs> I'm correct, okay? Yeah, it was really enjoyable. Um, so we did the YouTube videos, and um, we put the YouTube videos on the blog, and there was the pictures went on the blog, everything went on the blog, and then we got a Twitter, and we got a Facebook, so the whole kind of, <laughs> the whole like, every like social media platform, like we, we utilised, 
which I think was really effective because we got like 100 likes on Facebook, which is really cool for saying, obviously it's a university production. Um, and people were like interacting with the Twitter, we had the hashtags. So it was good to kind of include not just necessarily our group of people, but like a broader audience. I thought it was really cool. Um, I think ours went really well. We had like, I think we had so much fun on our episode. Like, whether it's me falling off stools or like Alex moaning about being hungover and tired and stuff like that. Like, we had so much fun. And like, we were always laughing and making stupid videos. <laughs> Yeah, but the production side went really well as well. This is good videos. We got pranked <laughs> a lot. Yeah. Um, I enjoyed it. It was quite fun. Um, we had a few stressful days, um, but pretty much everything was just great to get along with everyone in the group and just like also take part in each of the episodes as well. But myself, um, I found that enjoyable. Enjoyable. It wasn't. It wasn't too difficult, I guess. I had a really good team around me and it got even bigger in the second week. Yeah, it was so fun, like, just to be there all the time shooting all these scenes and seeing our script, like, come to life, it was quite cool. So what about your print shop? Tell us about that. <laughs> um, yeah, that was fun. I was getting a bit bored in between our breaks, so I just decided to prank people. like here and there which I think were to be expected um, I think this being our first project that we've ever done together as a group like things were bound to go wrong um, but I don't think there was anything specific that we could have improved on just I guess working together a bit more and a bit more communication would have been made it go more smoothly so yeah yeah, definitely, like oh, what Dina said, communication stuff. Like, what I think we could have improved is pay more attention to the locations, maybe. I mean, locations team did a bang on job, like James, who worked so hard, but then we had a couple of problems with locations in terms of like what uh, times we were allowed to film. Then we, Dina and I weren't really made aware of and things like that, which like complicated the schedule, like creating it, and then we had to move things around. So that's something. But that go, uh, goes down to communication, what Dina said, really. Um, and then like teamwork, there were some issues. Everybody worked together really well, but then there were in some teams some tensions that arose and they should have been addressed earlier because then some of them were addressed like on the last day of shooting. <laughs> Not much you can do then, but no, generally I think due to everybody being so organized, everything went pretty well. People listening to each other, like especially people in charge that have like, people wanted to do creative shots and things like that. I think they should have been taken on board and we should have done them. And, um, I agree. Yeah, kind of agree with me. And we all had like different ideas, and I think everyone just wanted to pitch in, and things just got dismissed, and it just pissed people off. But at the end of the day, we got the shots done, so yeah. What about um, Tim? About you and Tim? <laughs> what happened with that? You said I'm not mentioning names. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not yeah, you're being a director. He's drunk. Quick, quick. You right, Rachel? Where are you going? 
Rachel, come back. Rachel. Come back, Rachel. Had there's a few issues like with our crew. I mean, there's there's problems with a couple of our members, wasn't there? Um, <laughs> and that was a bit annoying because I was on camera, like, because I wanted to do like pretty creative shots, and I could I couldn't do it because of the time limit and stuff, and it was pretty frustrating. Um, I also think that. Maybe we should have actually had the meeting as well today. Tuesday, what's the date today? Tuesday the 2nd. Tuesday the 2nd of yeah. April, which um, uh, Tim, the director of our group, tried to actually organise. And uh, no one actually bothered replying to him. Um, but yeah, there's been a lot of problems with the kit, like returning to Hassan, which is not good, and that shouldn't have happened at all. Because um, people took our kit and stuff, and they, shouldn't, they should have really told us about it, because then we would have been able to sort it out. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to, got to say, like, critically about it. But, um, yeah, uh, everything else went pretty well. Like. Um, yeah, I think there are a few things that I'm sure that could have been improved. I think the way some people spoke to some people could have been improved because sometimes people came across quite rude. I know, like, I probably did it myself as well. Like, so I think that's just something that everyone should improve on. But besides than that, we had a really great team. Um, I think we were sort of really calm when it came to the shoot. So like most of the actors did brand our episode the calmer episode. So what episode we episode one. Oh. Yeah, we hardly had any stress or any sort of trouble within the group. So maybe we were taking things a bit too lackadaisical. So maybe that's something for next year. That will work. Yeah. Is that a word? Yeah, I'm like, that's that's not a word. word. I swear to God. That. Um, that is not a word. Yeah, I think it actually is a word though. I've actually heard it. Fuck you guys. Um, okay, all right, easy. Okay, thanks. Anyways, we were episode four, which meant that we actually had to finish the mess that episode one started. <laughs> and episode two and three fucking contributed to. Thank you very much, world. Um, yeah, these guys made most of the problems by that. We didn't make any problems, we solved them. How do you and how do you start with a, a girl and a guy in a I don't even know where the fuck the story went. Something about a dog collar, some bitch being a lesbian, some guy fucking oh, she, It's I, got something for everyone, you can't complain. Uh, I think it went well. Obviously there's a lot to improve on, but I think what went well overtook what could have been improved. What could have been improved? What could have been improved? Uh <clears throat> planning Big shoots Tuesday and Wednesday because we had all the actors and their only time. So we, Wednesday we did actually plan it. We planned it for five hours, but um, Wednesday was we could have done that Tuesday because we had to, on Wednesday we had to pick up four Tuesday's mistakes. But um, yeah, that that could have been improved. Uh, I don't know. The actors waiting around could have been improved because they were just stuck doing nothing when they could have gone. Yeah. I think that was just because of due to tight schedules. I think we could fit this in. We can do this. We underestimated it, but we don't talk about negative notes. It went well. Gathering all the footage and all the photos, and thinking of ways to make it entertaining, to be honest. So, and making it constructive at the same time, because at the beginning, Rob said. I mentioned it before that it was like, yeah, everything's great, everything's fun. But there were problems that had to be addressed. And because we're being assessed on it, we needed to put that forth in the updates. No, yeah, um, second week, I think, you know, we were all really tired and sort of because the first week went well, we all started getting a bit complacent and, you know, things started to sort of slide. But we picked it up towards the last days. Not really. Then, uh, I wasn't around for much of the second week because I didn't really need to be, to be honest. So I was at work. And that's why my director said something about me not being kind of adequate for sound. And it kind of hurt my feelings, but it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> um, but overall, I think the team, <laughs> team worked well. <laughs> I'm just trying to say this for okay? Um, Yeah, no. Especially episode four. We just had everything on point, really. I don't know what everyone was talking about stress because I didn't feel no stress. So, can I say? <laughs> I'm not a stressful director. 
<laughs> the shot is, the shot is so head. tight. You go between their heads. I can see your eyes. I, I just want to say. Right, go behind them between yeah. their both heads. <laughs> so whatever you want. So whatever you want to run out. I just want to say. Under the circumstances, I feel like we all did well. I think, um, for, from my experience, it, everyone has to sort of make sure that they get some rest during the weeks. Because um, when it came, we, our first week was great. Because you had like, nothing to do. Like Casper said. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's happening at every other scene of the You group. shot one scene in the first week. Uh, that, that was our group, yeah? Yeah. But for me, myself. <laughs> look at the oh, okay. production board and then Steve Brown. Look at Saturday. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Look at the production board. Look at all the oranges. Magic. Yeah. Listen, yeah, we was here on Saturday and Sunday. Oh, Friday. I was here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you Thursday, Friday, Friday and Saturday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So shush. What, what was yeah, the question again? Know. What was I saying? We knocked out all the groups, fam. Yeah, we did. Yes, I was saying. What was I saying? Can I do the interview? What's your problem? No, what's your yeah, problem? I don't know. I cut down my episode. Man. I had something in my head that I was going to say, apparently. Are you joking? Um, we were talking about what can be improved. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, our, everyone needs to sort of have a rest during the weekend. Well, we couldn't rest during the weekend because we were working. Rest is for the but week! I'm just saying because, like, the second week, um, everything just gets lax and um, organisation just starts to go and people just get, like, complacent, like I can say. And uh, you just need to make sure you maintain your organisation and, like, your knowing of, like, how everything gets set up and stuff so everything's safe because we had a few mistakes in the second week. Um, just edit it, just, yeah, the whole process really, because obviously you'd be on set all day, like 12 hour day or whatever, but then you'll go home and edit stuff as well, so obviously it's, it's long hours and you're tired, and, and I think Ben said earlier, like, he would suggest, like, resting up, like, before, like, doing your shit or whatever, and I really think that's, um, that's good advice, because I was so tired. <laughs> But it's all done now. It was really good. I really liked it. Uh, I think it went well. Obviously, there's a lot to improve on, but I think what went well overtook what could have been improved. What could have been improved? What could have been improved? Uh, <clears throat> planning the big shoots Tuesday and Wednesday because we had all the actors and they were only time. So we, Wednesday we did actually plan it. We planned it for five hours, but. Um, Wednesday was we could have done that Tuesday because we had to, on Wednesday we had to pick up four Tuesday's mistakes, but um, yeah that that could have been improved. Uh, I don't know. The actors waiting around could have been improved because they were just stuck doing nothing when they could have gone. Yeah, I think that was just because of due to tight schedules. I think we could fit this in. We can do this. We underestimated it, but we don't talk about negative notes. It went well. What would I improve? Um, <laughs> you can't do it. I don't know. Uh, wait, what would I improve? Mm, wait, hold on, boy. <laughs> um, oh, I think I maybe would revise my notes on lighting. <laughs> because, <laughs> because um, like for the first few shoots, we had like no idea what yeah, we were doing. I that. Yeah, I that. We should have revised on that. Really, yeah. Yes. Had the lights all over the place. Tempest white all along. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and also um, locations as well. Like we did get told off by an angry fashion teacher dude. Who yeah, you had to go at Tim. So it was like basically just getting the stuff home and editing. The hardest thing was getting people to actually take photos in the first week. In the first week there was a lot more video than photos. But other than that it was fine. Lee's attitude obviously. <laughs> no, <really> joking. <laughs> <laughs> she says to the one on Friday, oh yeah, I love I love working for you. It's really nice. Did I say that? So the other day while I was doing yeah. sending your doing your job, sending when? your emails. They honestly networking with you, aren't really? That's what she said. Because I had to do your job. I had to do your job. In that group everyone <laughs> did everyone did a lot of everyone's yeah. jobs. It wasn't like in other groups I know for a fact that people stuck to their jobs, why? 
we did do that, but like also we helped other parts if people couldn't be in, like some people would jump on sound, and on Wednesday we had to shoot an uh, episode like, normally you just shoot it, but we had to split it up, and Chris, which was one of our cameramen, had to direct to the other place while I was directing somewhere yeah. else. So everyone did a lot of mixing, but stuck to their primary job still. We also had help from the other groups as well, which yeah. is really good. Yeah. Yeah, they helped us quite a lot. A load of, a load of, a load of help. Fuck. Con los terroristas. Yeah. Well, you do it, gang. Gangs and roast pork. Amen. So good, I could cry. Gangs and roast pork. Gangs and roast pork. These are my two favorite girls. Okay. Fuck you. Fuck you. Take fuck us for me. On behalf of me. I'm doing a fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah, that was fun. I was getting a bit bored in between our breaks, so I just decided to prank people, since I do that anyway, and just get Ellie Philcock, my um, camera woman, and Callum Leek as well, to video it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>